The mayor and councillors of the Carnifee Municipal Council on Thursday held an emergency meeting at which they respond to President Barrow's claim that the council did not invite the government to the inauguration of its new office building. At the same meeting, the mayor and councillors also responded to a claim made by the Minister of Local Government and Lands that KMC is the dirtiest council in the country. Mayor Talib Ahmed Ben Souda made a point to highlight the institutions and political parties his council invited to the inauguration of the new office building. There is absolutely no event in the vicinity of KM that the KMC is running wherein we have not engaged uh, the Ministry of Local Governments and Lands. I also wanted to clarify that in the opening of this building, we indeed invited the Minister of Local Government who did not show up. And evident to the fact that we include everybody in the activities of KMC, we did invite the Lord Mayor, Yanko Bakoli, who was present. We invited the Lord Mayor, Lai Conte, who was present. We invited the Lord Mayor, Keba Jalo, who was present. We invited the representation from the AF AAPRC, which was represented by Momodou Lamin Baji. We invited the Gambia Democratic Congress, which was represented by MC Cham, the Citizens Alliance that was represented by Nene Frida Gomez, and the United Democratic Party, which was represented by His Excellency Usain Udabo. And of course, our very own ministry we invited, which did not show up to that event. So I think I just wanted to, uh, uh, for the record, set that record straight. The Lord Mayor further expresses his disappointment over the comment made by the Minister of Local Government and Lands. I'm disappointed to the fact that um, the Ministry of Lands and Local Government, or the Minister himself, declared that KMC was one of the dirtiest uh, municipalities, which I think is a very unfortunate comment. Uh, for one, uh, the Minister did visit this general body, I think two, three months back, and declared in this general body that KMC was way ahead of all regions as far as waste management services. He applauded the council's efforts in waste management, I think in the presence of the entire uh, council. Now it is unfortunate that um, we have these sort of interactions as Gambians. It is not helpful. This is a very small country, everybody is interrelated. Politics will come, it will go. Just this morning, I had a radio interview and I said, political parties are like football clubs. We have seen many people leave the NCP, the PPP, the UP, and join political parties such as the UDP, APRC, GDC, NPP, etc. And to date, on a daily basis, we see people cross capital So it is not worth in the name of politics to misconstrue facts or to attack each other. Honorable Kemo Bojang, Youth Councilor reveals how President Barrow pressed KMC's Mbalit project during their visit to the State House. I think the municipality of Kanifi has for a very long time been putting across the olive branch to the central government that we work together and make sure that the things we are doing are in the best interest of our people. Um, on a, n a number of times, even when we had the issue with our um, um, infamous CEO, I had advice in this general council that the mayor meets the president so that they discuss it because we didn't want it to get out of hand. But it seems that all the efforts of the mayor and the council has fallen on deaf ears and nothing has come out of it. It is unfortunate that I personally and Honorable Councilor for Talending were part of the delegation that went to the State House with our guests from Madison City Council. And in our presence, the president had acknowledged that the Mali project was one of the best projects that this country has ever had. He had said that waste management was a big issue that we, has faced, we, we had faced in, in this country, but the Mali project that we have brought has minimized and has tackled the issue at hand. Honorable Habib Sise, Councillor of New Joshua Ward, says President Barrow as the head of state should avoid making such statements even if he is posed by journalists. As well, the President is making such remark, which is very disappointing, because as a head of state, there are certain things that, that you should not, those are very petty. You should not even talk about those things. They are petty. As a head of state, even if journalists ask you, come on, you should deviate yourself from those remarks. And our Mali project, the Mali project today, if you go to our, for example, the, uh, um, um, the words I came from, 
and the world I'm representing, Ibota. We all knew the history of Ibota. There was an outbreak there 10 years ago. That cholera outbreak, we all know what led to that cholera outbreak. But today, if you go there, come on. I, I'm not saying it's clean up to 100%, but I can happily say we did our best and we tried to protect the environment. Honorable Lamin Diba, Councillor for Bakao and K Point Ward, says they feel threatened by the statement made by President Barrow. He adds that governors have no use in the presence of mayors. But please, I'm urging, let the central government know that we are not their enemies. We are not their enemies. We are here to serve our people, and they are also here to serve the same people. Their aim is to continue to develop to the high heart, where our aim is uh, you know, also our area to be developed to the high heart. So we cannot be, this will not take us anywhere. Back and forth, you know, they will say this, we are also going to counter this. That will not take us anywhere. They are the central, we are called the local governments. At least we also have the right to do certain things for our peoples. But if such words are coming from the, our own central governments, Definitely, we feel threatened. Up to extent that we are going to appoint governors in KMC and Banyul. These governors are not here to serve. They are not there to develop. People are not paying their tax for them. They are politically appointed. And when you come to the civilized democracy or civilized country, the governors are even no use. They have no use. What use do they have? You have the chairmen and you have the mayors, and at the same time you have the you know, governors and you have the others. It's of no use. Honorable Tobaski Sibi, the transport rep at the council, says with or without the help of the central government, their council is prevailing. All I want to say is that uh, the president, we all knew that uh, he was throwing his stones at council. And we should not be here defending our political callers as uh, Kimo just said. We all knew that uh, uh, the problem is Council is developing, and they have the problem of implementing development or helping council. Our subvention are yet to be paid. Last year, council was given $2 million, and I believe our budget was $200 million. Council should have been given $50 million, and you say that you are, you, you, you are helping council? Without government or the central government, council is still prevailing. Mayor is bringing projects, and the whole country appreciates the work we are doing. That is, the, that, is, that, is, that is the hard fact. Let us don't politicize things. In this chamber, you cannot identify a UDP councillor and a Bay councillor or NPP councillor. We are all working under one umbrella through the leadership of our able, dynamic leader, Talib Ahmed Ben Souda. Honorable Karamo Sise, councillor for Talindin South, asserts that KMC is not undermining the central government, but instead are development partners call on the central government, uh, most especially the Minister of Lands and Religious Affairs, with the President, that uh, we the local government can, or the local area council, most especially KMC, we are not undermining their government, uh, we are their partners in development. Uh, just like what the Mayor mentioned, uh, we are aware of that uh, the Minister of Higher Education uh, traveled to medicine. Uh, to look for a partnership. And then the only thing that they inform them that uh, we cannot have partner with you unless uh, you engage the municipal council, that is KMC. Though we know that they are central government, but they find out that we have an MOU with them first. So I don't think that should uh, uh, make them to be angry to see to it that uh, KMC is undermining their government. Meanwhile, Aji Saptu J, Councillor for London Corner calls on local governments and central government to work together. Uh, I will, my first statement will be, there are always three sides of a story. There are story, your story, and the truth. Uh, for the president, there is no project that is from his pocket. That's the hard fact. But there are projects from central government. And central government, the head of state is the head of central government. Presidents will come and go, but the government remains. There are some words you have uttered here, Lord Mayor. I am so grateful, and I am really grateful. 
because they are words of wisdom. The only advice I have, local government cannot move without central government. We have to work together. We have to collaborate together. We move this country forward for the betterment of the Gambia. In the just concluded Mid the People's Tour, the Gambian President Adam Baro accused KMC of snobbing his government during the inauguration of the Council's new office building. Reporting for Kerfatu, I am Landin Sise. Thank you.